I'm Nikki Nellis. I'm a radio host, a food writer, and a foodie born and bred. I have five kids and three ginormous dogs. I have a calendar filled with galas and balls and fabulous foodie events. I have the phone number of every chef and restaurateur in my Rolodex. And I have so much fun in the DC food and wine scene. Oh, and I do have one beast, my husband, David. Dunkin' Donuts for dinner? Why not? Because they just do donuts. Hey, I'm David Nellis. I love my wife, I love my family, I love my dogs, but one thing I hate is those frou-frou foodie events. I f***ing hate them. Hey, Chef. How are you? How are you? Everything nice good? Nice to see you, too. How are you? Well, good, good to see you. Excellent. You look wonderful. Thanks. Hi. Did you get my email today? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. I did. We had a great meal. It was terrific. It was really good. Everybody could uh, be having a good time. It was. It was fun. Yeah. We had a good time. Okay. Well, tell me what's going on here tonight. Give me this a little 411. This is the party, press party for the Grape Festival for okay. Zetania that they do right. annually. Right. The featured cocktail has grapes in it. All the dishes have grapes oh, in cool. it. Oh, cool. Good. Good. Can I get your picture? Always. Oh my god, delicious. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's so yummy. So what do you think of that event? Deadly. That was deadly. Yes. Right. Remember that dirty <laughs> there have been so many. Oh, Christ. We've had this radio show on for five years, and the thing that drives me out of my mind, you know, we have celebrity chefs come in and other celebrity people, and they're celebrities. You know, they've become like, you know, like rock stars. But then you get these other folks in there who are wannabes, and they are such mother fing assholes. They're so fing <laughs> arrogant. When they give a colonoscopy, they pump air into the asshole, you know? That's what this is like. They come in, they're like, all, oh, they're like, you know, dirigibles. They're so goddamn pumped up. And it's so horrible to deal with them. You deal with them at, I mean, because there are some chefs in this city that are truly rock stars. Brian Voltaggio, Mike Isabella, Scott Druneau, Spike Mendelson, they're they're nationally known, they're they're and they're deservedly so. But then you get these people that just, you know, they take on the mantle of, of rock star chef without ever earning it, without ever getting it. It's that boy R D Yes. He thinks he's when hot Chef shit. Boyardee, you open that can <laughs> and you say, "This guy's full of sh." I finished the show prep for tomorrow, so right. I, I know, but we have script. a problem. We have a problem because um, I just got an email from Fareed that Todd English cannot come. I know it's a big did deal. He bag? Yeah. Well, he did because Charlie Trotter passed away, as you know, on Wednesday, and his funeral is in Chicago tomorrow. So none of the guys, all the chefs who are coming That's in for that's a pretty good excuse for bagging. <laughs> but uh, Fabio Trabocchi is here to say that he is one of America's best known and most inventive, inventive oh Italian God. chefs. I guess the first question is, you know, you were in New York getting rave reviews, why come back to DC? Why not? DC is home. Is DC so, home? I mean, is that how you feel about DC? I noticed your accent, well, it sounds it, like it, you're from here. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? Everybody, James Beard award winning chef, Michelle Chef's Richard. Michelle Thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I know you're here to see me and not Just Nikki, man. because that's Nikki, how it works. You're so pretty, though. Oh. You're wasting oh your time with that guy. Every <laughs> time this guy is on the show, why don't you... Look at, oh, yeah. Rosie, Rosie, yay! <laughs> this is why I have a problem with the French. Sunday night always means dinner at the Nellis House. One of the best things about being a part of the D.C. food and wine scene is hanging out with all the chefs and their family. So this Sunday, we have top chef Mike Isabella coming to the house, along with Wolfgang Puck, Scott Trunot. Even though I'm doing the cooking, I'm still going to put the pros to work. And while we're working, we're drinking. And when the wine flows, so does the gossip. Yeah, there's two things about that. It's crazy, number one. And number two, he gets naked when he drinks. And he was walking around with his, with his underwear So he off. just gets naked? Just gets yeah. naked. Just walks around naked. His penis around. is just hanging out? Yeah. So yeah, so there's a, there was a bunch of that going on. And then Mike Martins walked in and seen it. And Taha walks in. Where? She's got like three guys with their pants and their ankles. And he turned around and walked right back. Yeah. I need you to engage. I need I, you. What you mean, talk to them? About? I need you to talk to the wives and hang out with the wives and hang out with the chefs. But like, you need to see what I'm doing because it's not like I have a full staff helping me. So I need you to. You want me to travel back and forth? I just need you to pay attention. I am paying attention. No, but... you're not. Right. So can you? The music will be on, and I'm supposed to. I will. I just ask you. I be, will engage. Be aware. It's much easier to be just aware. Say this. I will. Yes. Say yes. That's right. <laughs> say yes. Much better. Uh, okay. It's tough. You were in the kitchen at one point, right? Weren't you a kitchen person? No. No? Never? Never. You know, 
the ankles, yeah. above the wrists, below the neck, so yeah, you, you can't see. It, but she's fully, she's fully tatted. I have all the tattoos I need. Though, right? She's fully clothed. Oh, Nikki's got them too. She's got her whole back. It, it just says, "Do what I say" on her back. <laughs> Which is pretty much what my life is like. So she says, "You say it to her." No, no. Listen, she's the only human being in this world that I'm afraid of. Blue <laughs> freak, a wimp. Well, you know. I just thinking. I was thinking about actually not yes. not too long ago, the <laughs> night we met. You know, mm -hmm. I was a single dad, and I had every other weekend off. I remember. And uh, Mike Stupak invited me to go out for a drink with a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. So, not, I mean, when you walked in, mm -hmm. that was pretty much it for me, right there. Okay. Yeah. Until a year so later. So when, when you, you walked broke in, up? was I pretty much it for you? No. <laughs>